Hey, Wise Chip here with Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus. And, to be honest guys, they've cut down on the, the um, graphics in this one, man. Yeah. Seriously, man. They just, they just cut down the graphics on this. And they changed the story too, man. Just, now you're playing for the Nazis. You have to go kill all the Kaisers. The Kaiser Circle. The Kaiser Circle. Kaiser, Kaiser, eh, forget it. So, yeah, if you don't know by now, I'm... I'm pulling your leg. Um, I'm pulling your leg. This is actually... They put in a full version of Wolfenstein 3D. Except they have it, uh... I'll turn it around and different that you are playing as Elite Hans going to get uh, Blaskovics. Which is actually kind of cool that they did something like that. So let like the. Yeah. Get out of there and stop looking at the ceiling. And here we are. We are here in Wolfenstein 2. Yep. Alright. Uh, so. This game is awesome. I can't really put it down. I mean, holy crap, a uh, great game. Solid start, solid middle, solid uh, ending. They don't lack in anything. Uh, right now we're on the Eve, uh, Eva's Hammer. Uh, if you remember from Wolfenstein, The New Order, that is the uh, submarine you steal from the Nazis. And now it's your main hub in uh, this game, which I actually prefer. I mean, I do miss uh, the hub in the first game, but there. But um, it's nice to actually be able to explore and see this and uh, look this uh, place. I got shut up. <laughs> so full on uh, thoughts and opinions on this is uh, it's a great game. Um, much harder than New Order. They really bump up difficulty in uh, this game. I mean, holy crap. I've died more times in this game than I think I've died in the New Order at all. So, they have bump up difficulty. And I was playing on medium, uh, medium difficulty. And I was playing on medium difficulty. Uh, I'm not completely done with the game. I gotta go through a second playthrough. Because if, uh... Here, we'll go this way. You notice that, uh, White's here. And remember, you had White and Fergus. And you can choose either the timeline. I haven't played through Fergus's yet, so... Uh, they're going through my second playthrough. And if you're wondering, this is actually the... And I completed the game. This is what... You are allowed to walk around and roam around at the, after you complete the game. Aim uh, and you get to walk around the use hammer and do stuff. It's quite cool. You can walk around it at any time. There's certain points you can walk around and do stuff. So. I got this game done quite quickly, actually. And surprising, I checked my, um... I thought I, there's a... The campaign... Hello there. I, the actual story campaign is a little bit shorter than, uh, Wolfenstein New Order, but it's not much to complain about. It still gives you a full experience. A great story... Uh, told. Um, great things happen. I mean, a lot of plot twists and all that. Uh, sudden surprise in the middle, and you do what you do. Go around killing Nazis, trying to collapse the Third Reich in the way. And I'm um, just going to say it now. Uh, yes, there is going to be a third game. Pretty much this game was a, a in-betweener game. Uh, it's not meaning that it's not necessary. It is necessary. Because it, it is a great it, is, it does a lot of great explaining and all that, but uh, pretty much it was pretty much this game was a build up to the third game, which 
Uh, there, I'm saying there is going to be a third game. Uh, let's go to the shooting range. No, it's downstairs, ain't it? Yeah, I gotta go down. I uh, just dropped down. Uh, so, I'm putting my hands down there. It's going to be a third game. They even said they're going to make a trilogy out of this. Uh, I'm not complaining. And the third one is, uh, I'm saying it's going to be more in America. Because the way they just ended it, uh, just saying that it's going to be more um, in America. And what I'm hoping they do is do like more open world type thing. Don't want to press the button. Uh, not like full on like Skyrim, but have it to where you go to a city or town and have multiple uh, objectives to do and the main objective, but do those little objectives and all that. Just make it more open. I mean, it, well, this one's really open too. You have some really nice areas that you go around. Um, the collectibles are still there. Uh, you go there. Uh, got your collectibles like the usual one, gold, the constant art. Uh, they added one new one. The records are still there from the new order, but they added some new ones: the uh, star cards, uh, Max's toys, and death cards. Uh, star cards are just cards of uh, just famous people in this universe and all that. And they tell you where how many you have. I like how they tell you. How many you have and how many you need and all that. I need a crap load of Manhattan and Roswell. And all that. Uh, but the records are fun to see. And need, yeah. Uh, death cards are really... I was wondering how they got the death cards. I, I don't know. And then I only got one because I was testing it out. And pretty much what to do is you get a hit list, which I shall go show you. Hit list, killing board, they call it. I just call it a hit list. And you have all these high ranking officers that you need to go and pretty much kill. Uh, so that's pretty much what you're doing. And how do you go find these? Well, we go to this little chair here. Oh, yeah, the Ignig mugs are still here. And this is how you, the Ignig mugs are used for this little, like, I, uh, computer thing. I, if you look at the top, uh, right of the screen of this thing, I have no Enigma codes on me, because I've used them to unlock these ones that I had to go kill now. But you use the Enigma mugs to unlock the locations of these, uh, uh, guys to go kill, pretty much. Uh-huh. Uh, so, all in all, really great game. A lot of, uh, new characters coming in. Uh, a lot of good characters going out, uh, to say on that. Um, a lot of plot twists and surprising things happening in the middle and all that. Uh, get to see a little bit more how the influence of uh, the Nazis have been on the American on the Americans uh, see how they, they would be run and all that and um, no it's just straight up great game the story was amazing if you haven't gotten it go get it it's a great game if, uh, but if you're not a big Wolfenstein fan uh, give it a try but Wait, wait a little bit. Wait for it to be come down in price. It's still a great, amazing game. I'm glad I got it. I'm glad I got the collector's edition. Yeah, got that. If you haven't seen that, uh, I made a video on it. Uh, not that good of a video. I was in a rush to make that one, but I did make a video on it. Uh, so glad I got it. Um, so what do I want to do now? I want to do a hit list, but I want to show you the weaponries first. So we're gonna to go to a the shooting range, show you the weapons in the shooting range, and then we'll go and take out a Nazi. Let's go. Get all my bullets. Okay, we're good. So it's quite cool that you got the boards. Uh, yep, I'm on top. BJ for uh, yeah. 
Top, I got the highest score. Don't have the highest score on the the run, the top hump, the the kill house times. Uh, I don't know who Shu Shan is. I've been looking for her wherever this uh, person is or he. Don't know who he is. I think it's just a little thing they put in there to make you try to get the best. Because I've been trying to beat 18 seconds is impossible. Uh, I finally got that one up to the highest score. Or I think the highest possible score is 500, but I got it as high as I can. Mm -hmm. So let's go down to the shooting range. Uh, we got the normal pistol. Um, I have this pistol up two. Well, let's show. Uh, you go to your weapons. We'll show them all. You got the pistol, and the little areas that are highlighted red are upgraded items. Um, in this game, instead of uh, fighting attachments for your weapons and all that, you up uh, get upgrade kits and you upgrade them. So you pretty much modify them. I upgraded the pistol to, uh, what is it, uh, a magnum to use magnum rounds, so more damage. Uh, extending magnum wasn't really useful for me. Ten clips with the magnum. Ten bullets with the magnum really does a doozy on the enemies. And a suppressor, so I can use it as a suppress weapon. So now it's pistol. Uh, the Stramguer? I, I might be pronouncing that wrong. Uh, what I gave it was a marksman scope, which I didn't use once, I think. I think I used once. And armor piercing. I should have gave it the jungle magazines, which are just two magazines strapped together to make it quick reloads. Should have got it now, but that's okay. Um, armor piercings on this one is highly recommended. Uh, marksman scope if you like to do some sniping. But armor piercings is number one on that one. Uh, my favorite weapon. I mean, holy crap. The ma uh, machinima, machine pistola, machinima pistola. I got whatever. My favorite weapon out of the whole game right here. I gave it all. Uh, we got the nail gun, which I love the name of it. It just heats up the bullets to give more damage. But the uh, but the cost is that the bullets. Uh, slower so less you get less a uh, rate of fire uh, drum magazine so you can hold quite a bit of bullets and imp and tank suppressor so pretty much what this becomes is the pistol <laughs> and suppressed weaponry so yeah uh, my other fair weapon the shock hammer <laughs> oh the shock hammer is my f favorite I, I, um, I'll, you, you know, just, I love it so much. It is a fun weapon. I got an all upgrade on here to, uh, rotor, which gives it a upgrade where you can shoot all three barrels at once. Uh, extended mag to give it more bullets and a ricochet, which in the first game was, uh, fabulous to have because the bullets, if miss on the bullets, they'll ricochet and attack, hit either. He hit the enemy. Uh, Kafa pistol. Uh, I think I yeah I only put one upgrade because this is a late game weapon actually, and you get it late. And but it's a nice little one to have. Have I'm gonna show you all what these are. This is a pretty much a grenade launcher handgun pretty much. Then you got the, I didn't upgrade this one at all. This weapon right here was overpowered. Anyways, holy crap. I didn't need to put any, I mean maybe an extended tank doubles the captive, uh, maybe extended tank to give me more bullets, but I didn't need to upgrade anything on this one. This was a very powerful weapon, period. And then you got the hand grenades. Yeah, you can upgrade the hand grenades to be uh, more flammable. Well, well, fragments. More fragments. Tation. 
uh, more, make it more flammable or make it uh, electric. So pretty much you can, yeah, I didn't do any of that because I didn't really see a need for it on that. Then you got your heavy ones that you can put, you don't, can't put upgrades on. But these are, they give you a description of the heavies, which I give them say they got really creative with the heavies in this one. They gave you uh, the typical, they didn't give you a typical like uh, Gatling gun in the uh, other ones. No, they gave you pretty much a Gatling shotgun, which is this one. A laser gun right here. They replaced your laser gun with this one, pretty much. Uh, flamethrower, pretty much. And a overpowered, like, portable black hole gun here. Yeah, that one there. Uh, so those are scattered throughout the game. When you pick and pick them up, use them. They're fun to play with. So, back here... Then we got the pistol. Silence and all that. We got the... My other favorite. Uh, we got... New, I'll show you the different... They got the... This is the nail gun. See, they're more slower than if we... Click out the special. You get more of a rapid rate of fire. Uh, then we go to... Oh, oh. We go to the rifle, pretty much the assault rifle. See, you got the scope. And when it's in scope form, you can do one shot at a time. Back out. There's molten, there's your rounds. Uh, <laughs> my favorite weapon of the game. Another favorite weapon. Uh... So pretty much it shoots three at a time. Oh no, that's one at a time. This is three at a time. Didn't see much of a need for that one because that's pretty that's quicker, in my opinion, and it was much more useful than having the the three at the time. Pretty much that's there just to waste your bullets. This is here to give you a nice cover. Uh, and then we have the, I say the most overpowered weapon in the game. You shoot it, you click the special, and it goes boom. This one is not as overpowered, but it still can pretty be pretty much uh, close enough. Yeah. So that's all the weapons. Then, if you notice, you go over here. You can dual wield, so you can go. What the? And they really upped Annie with the dual building. Holy crap. Uh, I mean, holy crap. They really want... They put this dual building feature in here for you to use it. And you do have to use it quite a bit. I mean, holy crap. I thought... I mean, this is my favorite combination here. Just... That kills whatever's in front of me. <laughs> so, yeah. So the dual wielding is much more funner because you can choose and pick what weapons you want on either hand. Which is quite cool and I like it. But I didn't like how forced on it was. It felt a little forced, but after playing for a couple of hours you get used to it. And you find your favorite combination like I have here. Oh, no. Um, so what else do I, uh, well, that's all the weaponry. Uh, about halfway through the game, you get some upgrades to your body. Uh, well, I got one. There's two others you can get. Uh, but I got one of them. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna show you it. It just makes you into a battering ram, pretty much. Here, let's go up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you start charging, you become a battering ram. See? Yep. Battering ram. Arr, there we go. <laughs> so... 
if you have trouble with uh, your weapons and all that, they give you this nice shooting range, which I like. You have the shooting range down there, and then you have the time trial one, which I like the pistol for this one. Yeah, I didn't beat my time, but now you can do that, and you can do that as many times as you want until you get good with your weaponry and you're running around and all. It, this game pretty much makes it fairly easy for you to practice if you need to. If you're not succeeding with the slide that well, you can do this course over and over until you feel confident with the slide. Uh, if you need more confidence with your... Uh, I turned aim assist off, so I needed a little work with my uh, aiming, so I played around for a little while until I got used to my aiming, my sensitivity, and all that. So, it's very nice to have a shooting range. I've, that's one thing I kind of wish they had back in the New Order was a place just to go around and shoot. They did have something for your throwing, which they, they kind of have here, but... It's not as good. I mean, they change it up. They, in the new order, you had a place where you can throw your knives and get the right arch and all that to, for your throwing your knives. And this one, they got rid of that and gave you a shooting range, which is kind of weird, but uh, you're gonna go. You gotta work with what you got. So now, since I babbled my mouth off saying how great this game is, and please, if you are interested, do get it. It is a great game, and if you haven't played New Order, go play it, please. It's a oh, magnificent game. So, now I'm done babbling. Let's do a uh, death card. And we'll do we'll do the one on the docks. Yeah, let's go. We'll do this, and then I'll call it the video, okay, guys? <sighs> Stocked up on bullets. Blaskowitz, Nazi Uber Commander Walter Hauser is located somewhere around this area. The intel we have is that he's tasked with deploying search drones in the harbor district. You know what you gotta do, Blaskowitz. Grace out. Oh. I forgot to say, I love the hatchet much more than the knife. Gosh, I love the pipe than uh, the pipe and uh, old blood much more than the than the knife and new order. The new order knife was good, but I just didn't like it much. But the hatchet, oh, the hatchet is a uh, instant kill. Anything if anything's close to you, just melee and oh, someone sees me melee and insta kill that person <laughs> we're gonna show you how great this combination is now dead dude's dead didn't even have to empty a clip oh no one oh. you know Don't shot my ass. 
Like I said, I swear you they up the ante with this. I mean, oh, they're, they're dead. <laughs> I've died more times in this game than I think I've ever died in New Order, and I kind of like it, but it can get really frustrating. The final boss. I won't spoil what the who or what the final boss is, but leading up to the final boss was a horde mode. And, oh. I didn't like the horde mode thing going on. And I died more times. I died more. I died a crap load of times trying to lead up to the boss. And what. Search drones in the harbor district. You know what you gotta do, Blaskowitz. Grace out. So I was saying, I died a crap load of times trying to get up to just the final boss against the hordes. And I was really frustrated with it. But, I, you see me here, I got through. Got through it. We good. There's armor for me. Comes the big guy. Like I said, this combination with these upgrades is kind of a little overpowering. Oh, there he is. I see him. Look, two times I actually used this upgrade. Okay, go back to him. Yeah, do you see that? Uh, still... No, oh, well. Game's still kinda glitchy. There's a couple little bugs. I had a... Oh, crap. Sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. I wanted to go get the armor. Uh, I had a couple random glitches, I should say. Nothing really. Like I said, very hard. These guys. Oh. Devastating. So what I'm saying was I had a couple glitches, nothing game breaking, and uh, they were just funny little bug glitches. So, uh, one of them, Blaskovich, uh, during a point in the game, the the Earl weapon's supposed to be put away, but he had his weapons out. Nazi Uber Commander Walter Hauser is located somewhere around this area. The intel we have uh, is another glitch is in the harbor district. Uh, one of the refueling stations were. Certain weapons, the uh, nozzle, the hole for the hose, for you to refuel the weapon was uh, kind of bugged down and glitched. 
but honestly enough there was not a large amount of uh, glitch problems for me oh the perks are still here I forgot to tell you you still got perks and the perks work that uh, kind of like the same way in uh, New Order do certain things and do certain things so many times and get perks and all that uh, this time instead of giving they they give you abilities and all that uh, some of them you'll be upgrading faster than others like the dual wielding one you will probably yeah will be upgraded faster uh, over charge kill I won't I won't say much but you'll get down up uh, quickly especially in early game uh, Negma codes close to that I need one more for that okay so pretty much yeah perks are still there uh, I might not be able to get this guy in uh, this uh, video but yeah I might not be able to get this guy but I want to say oh, bullets thank you huh, what's that oh I got a map okay So yeah, these still got like, everything like from the first game still here. Just they changed it up a little bit in ways, which is not a terrible thing, but can be a little annoying if you're like used to uh, the first game. that either that was one of the heavies is they're okay some of them are the laser beam one is way overpowered the shot uh, the shotgun gatling one is only good if you're in close quarters the flame ones same thing more close quarters not as close but when they're in groups that one's a good one uh, the last one I forget the name of that one's good for uh, semi close quarters and other areas. I'm stuck. I know it's I get stuck a lot more in areas. Freaking snipers are one of ones I'm more watching for. Long bullets over the shotgun. Take grenade. Like I said, they relied heavily on you being dual wielding a lot more and um, dual wielding a lot more and uh, being much more quicker on your feet. I mean, holy crap.
which ain't terrible. It's just coming from New Order, you're so used to a certain game style you play as. Max net, okay. So, honestly enough, full on opinion. I'm going to stop here. I don't think I'm going to. Oh, let's give it a little more chance. Full on opinion. Great game. I love it. Another classic in my collection. I'm glad I have. Okay, see, uh, I do, this is something they changed that I love. In the first game, you had the, com uh, the commanding officers, or whatever you want to call them, that if you get spotted by them, they can raise alarms. Um, and in those ones, they're sent by a, a single detect, and you have to find them by walking around and watching the number go down. And they have it again in this one. But this one is uh, much, I love much more because they have a little bump at the top that shows you which direction they are in, making it much easier to find them. Okay, let's see. Oh, and commanders, uh, Enigma codes are found on the the commanders. They're not found uh, anywhere else. You have to kill the commanders and get the Enigma off their body. So, just telling you, Enigmas are not found just randomly in anywhere now. We'll see, we got some time. Let's see if I can get to this guy. Oh, oh, raised alarm. It's gonna be fun. Anything? Overcharge. Oh, there he is. Give me an enigma. Thank you. Oh, hell. Terry. Okay, that's the way. I'm lost. Dude's walking around like no tomorrow, ain't he? I feel something. I just don't know what it is. Really? Like seriously, did you see how much armor he took off? Oh. Oh yeah, and if you walk over and you can pick them up too, which is nice. What do we got going on? that they randomly come out of nowhere too. Did I get the guy? Get the guy, okay, that's good.
Okay. That that was weird. Okay. Uh, on that note, I'm ending it. Holy crap, just had a random glitch. It's a little glitchy, but it's still a good game. Get it if you haven't gotten it. Oh, it's hard, just warn you. This is like the Dark Souls of first person shooters. So be prepared for that. And um, on that note, stay wise, my friend. Oh, friends. Oh.